Hello and welcome to Soul Symbols. My name is Shelley. I'm a writer, an astrologer, and a card reader, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Today is Saturday, and it is the weekly energy card reading. And what it is is that you choose from one of three different tarot decks. When you choose your deck, I will go ahead and throw a spread of cards that will just kind of give an idea of what the next week's energies will be. Um, this card reading is good for the next seven days, but it does not have to be the week of January 18th through the 26th in order for it to resonate. If you feel drawn to this reading at any time, there might be messages contained in it for you. And I do ask that you just choose from your intuition. Um, sometimes either the timestamp or the type of cards or maybe the stone will kind of pull your attention. And usually there mean, that means that there's some kind of messages in the reading for you. If you find that there are no um, messages in the reading or you know you feel free to watch more than one you know deck or the entire video if you feel like you nothing really resonated that's completely okay maybe another video or another time um, there might be some messages in there for you at that time um, if you'd like to jump straight to the choosing of the cards and your card reading the timestamps are in the description box below and I'm gonna go ahead and get started I have three decks the first deck is the White Sage Tarot by Teresa Hutch the second deck is the um, the Line Strider tarot, tarot by Cilio Thompson, and the last deck is the Everyday uh, Tarot, um, Everyday Tarot by uh, Biddy Tarot or uh, Brigitte Esselmont. Um, to clarify the reading, I am going to be using the Fairy Tale Oracle cards by Liz Dean, and all of the names and the descriptions are in the description box below. So I'll go ahead and freeze frame. Uh, go ahead and choose your cards, and I'll be I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. Let me go ahead and I'm just gonna move these cards up so we have space. We normally have space, but. I'd like to thank everyone, just take a moment to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel. I am up to 28 subscribers and I am so very grateful. Um, thank you for supporting me and I hope that you like the content here. If, um, if you are new to the channel, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if anybody has any suggestions over what subjects they would like to see, I am definitely open to doing special posts, so please let me know. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the first deck is one of my favorites. Uh, the, the deck has animals and it has coffee cups and it has chakra colors. <laughs> so the White Sage Tarot. Let's go ahead and see what kind of uh, deck number one, what kind of week are you going to have? Ooh. Ooh, all right. Well, this was kind of coming out there. I'm going to try to keep them together. Wow, we're getting some reversals, guys. Okay. This is definitely not turning out to be a normal spread, but... All right, guys. So, wow, you've got an eventful week. You've got an eventful week. Um, in the beginning of the week, you got the Queen of Cups and you got the Four of Cups. So definitely, um, you can be a man watching this reading and resonate with a queen with the the queen. Uh, what it is is she is a very she is a, an emotionally nurturing woman. It's someone who's very in touch with their nurturing side. And in the beginning of the week, seeing that next to the Four of Cups, I just have this feeling like you really want to be nurturing. You really want to kind of engage either in a relationship or something else that involves um, your emotional involvement. It could be a project. It could be a creative project. But in the beginning of the week, you're just going to be feeling a little bit, a little bit meh. Um, not in a bad way. You definitely have a lot of love to give. The Queen of Cups is a very um, emotionally mature woman. She knows what she wants and she knows what she can offer. It's just going to be kind of a little bit of, you're going to feel a little bit emotionally exhausted. You're just kind of, you're going to kind of feel, you, you kind of see how these three cups uh, pour into what looks like an empty cup. It's like they're pouring and pouring and pouring, but they're not filling up the cup. 
And um, again, this deck is uh, chakra based. So the orange is the, um, the sacral chakra which is that is a chakra of creativity it is also it is a little bit of a chakra of um, sexual desire as well so uh, i just think at the beginning of the week you're gonna be yourself like you're you're not any different than what you normally are you're very you are a naturally um, emotionally giving person but you're gonna feel a little bit like you just kind of don't want to make any choices right at the beginning of the week you're just gonna be kind of like neutral and a little bit lethargic so just you know be kind to yourself and in the beginning of the week definitely you know don't don't push yourself because you're really not gonna want to make any type of big decisions now towards the middle of the week you got the Hierophon in the reverse and in this deck it has a it has a little fawn and it has a key um so here i just really feel like again and the fact that you're so lethargic at the beginning of the week i'm gonna i kind of get the feeling like you're not going to really have all of the facts um, whatever the situation is, it can be romantic, it can be a creative endeavor. Um, you're just gonna kind of, it's, it's almost, I'm almost getting a vibe of kind of hold off and wait until you have more information. Um, because right next to it, you have the fool in reverse. And the fool is a very positive card. It means, you know, new beginnings. It means trusting the universe. But whenever it's in the reverse, it's kind of a caution to not be foolish. Um, it's also telling you to don't, you know, kind of don't give in to, I, I have a feeling that when you get out of this, you're gonna be kind of feeling blah. And then the very first, it's almost like a pendulum swing. It's like you're gonna go from feeling, at the beginning of the week, you're gonna go from feeling really lethargic to the opposite extreme of wanting to to kind of act out um you know the hair font usually uh, rules social norms and it's almost like you're going to kind of want to buck the system and you're going to want to kind of do it in a foolish way now because there are cups involved here this might involve a relationship maybe there's someone that's really kind of you know, not is someone who's a little bit avant-garde or, you know, a little bit of the rebel. Um, but here I'm really getting that this is more your energy. And I, I think it's the universe's way of just kind of is kind of telling you to be practical. Um, we do have the Ace of Cups in here, which um, is kind of a general overall theme. It's it's kind of coming out in the center, kind of like it's pertaining to the entire week. Um, so here it really does either feel like self-love or it could be the budding of a new relationship. And again, it's just kind of making you, you know how when, when you first fall in love or if you're kind of going through a cycle of independence, you just kind of buck the system and you're just like, well, I'm going to do what I want to do. Here the, the universe is cautioning you that, you know, don't don't throw your weight around too much you know like don't get too independent don't get too rebel rebel with it because it might be a little bit of a foolish decision um you know you it's definitely good to love yourself it's definitely good to kind of fall you know you know you know what it makes me think of is i used to talk to my friends all the time and we used to talk about how there's such a difference from between the first time that you fall in love versus when you fall in love when you're older and you've had a few relationships it's almost as if we call it the zoom <laughs> and i think of that when i see the, the ace of cups i think of the zoom it's like when you're when it's your first love you just kind of you just fall into it without any apprehension and that's what i'm kind of seeing here i'm wondering if it's pertaining to that i think it's kind of cautioning you don't don't be so quick to go for the zoom it might feel really good at first, but it might get you into a little bit of trouble because, um, you know, the Zoom feels great, but you, you later on in life, after you've had a few relationships and uh, after you've had a few falls <laughs> and hard landings, um, you later realize that the Zoom feels great, but it's it's nothing compared to actually going slow you know if if it is a quality relationship it will prove itself to be that so you don't have to rush you don't have to do anything drastic and you definitely don't have to change your own personality in order for you to have that that new beginning so just bear that in mind 
Now, what we have here is towards the end of the week, you got the devil, and we just had to tear it on the devil. And honestly, the devil gave me the worst trouble. <laughs> I had so much trouble filming that video. It was the devil of a time. But um, here, you know, when you see the snake and you see the apple, I th I'm really getting kind of a temptation vibe. And right next to it is the world. And I really love the fact, I, I take into consideration the, the imagery. And with the world, she has it as an acorn, and she has what looks like kind of a full moon in the background. Now, as you know, full moons and, and the Ace of Cups, they make you a little loony, right? The full moon really pulls on you. It makes you feel like, ooh, you know, you kind of get lost in the energy of it. But I think it is just kind of saying towards the end of the week, you're going to feel like it's this, this tempting, this really tempting new beginning. But just I think what it's telling you is don't go for the zoom. Don't fall too fast. Just kind of scrutinize it a little bit because right under it, you have the king of pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is a practical character. And there we go, we have that, that elephant again. The elephant takes plotting steps and he's very intelligent, he's very wise. So I think I'm really, I'm getting kind of a vibe that this might be kind of a new relationship. It's not saying that it's a bad relationship. It's not saying that at all. But if there's, if there's anything that, and the other thing is with the moon, I think that it's telling you, you know, before you do a new start, trust your instincts right trust your instincts if there's anything there that feels like a red flag scrutinize it and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with it um they always say anything that is meant to be yours will be yours right so you can't you can't screw up what's meant to be yours right so it's okay to give a little bit of discretion especially if you feel like that zoom is coming on if you feel like you're you're you know you're you're feeling kind of foolish you just want to fall into these emotions so use those emotions to a positive end especially towards the end of the week just kind of use your instinct be practical be like the pink king of pentacles the king of pentacles is a practical dude he always and almost take it from a man's perspective. If you're a woman watching this reading, it's almost like take it from the King of Pentacles perspective. Be very, be very practical. Be like, hey, why did you do that? That just didn't, why? You know, why? You know, don't be afraid to ask why. But one caveat, and I, I did, I, I got some clarifiers because anytime the devil comes up, and if you want to watch that How to Tarot, I just posted it a few days ago. But um, the devil can be, is a very hidden, he's a very clandestine kind of character. Um, I'm getting more of a temptation vibe. I'm definitely getting more of a just, ooh, that, that, you know, take a bite of that. Because you get an apple in that picture too. It's like, ooh, don't you want to take a bite of that, right? But uh, what, what it's telling is, you know be careful with your own wants as well and I'm definitely kind of seeing that with these two cards too because the Hierophant the Hierophant in the reverse is definitely doing things that buck the system they are doing things against the norm and and here with the fool in reverse that's telling you that it might be kind of foolish to do that to just kind of be you know to to do that you, there's nothing wrong with bucking the system if you feel like being different you know dare to be different but the fact that the fool is coming in reverse i'm i'm seeing that that's not a good move but towards the end of the week and this is a really beautiful beautiful ending is that you're going to feel kind of tempted and it's going to be a new beginning and Honestly, I could even read this as a very tempting new beginning with a King of Pentacles. It could be someone that's very good with money, someone who's very well established. It could be a very, very attractive man who's well off, you know, who's, who's very financially and, and very secure and not just in a money sense either, just secure in a personality sense. He's, he's reliable. Um, but then at the very end of the week, you have the lovers, which I absolutely love in this card because it's seahorses. Aren't that, isn't that cute? And then you got the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is fond memories, but the fact that it's right out under the lovers, this tells me, it tells me reunion and it's six and six and that's a balance. Um, so what that's telling me is that you, towards the end of the week, this might be a relationship and it might be a relationship with someone that you've known in the past or someone that you've known 
from for a long time and um, again you're going to be very tempted you know towards the middle of the week you might be acting a little rebel honestly that could be at work or someplace else you might just be feeling a little spunky you know what I mean you, you ever get those moods where you're just like uh, you know you get a little mouthy you get a little brusque <laughs> but um towards the end of the week you might have an opportunity to either meet up with someone from the past but it's definitely kind of a love relationship but you might be you might this temptation this this temptation of a new beginning might be some kind of rekindling with somebody so just bear in mind but that's a really beautiful spread guys but definitely um just just remember when you're starting to feel a little scrappy when you're starting to feel like you know <clears throat> you know I don't need to do this you know if you're feeling like you really want to kind of go against the grain you know just just check yourself a little bit just a little bit no one's telling you that you have to conform but you do want to uh you do want to you know just just rein it in keep it balanced keep it balanced all right guys so that's deck number one that's a beautiful that's a beautiful message i'm gonna go ahead and put your queen of cups on top she's so cute she's drinking tea drinking tea all right, so deck number two, we got the Line Strider Tarot by Cilio Thompson. I never know if I'm saying her name right. I hope I am because it's a beautiful deck. Very talented artist. But so the Line Strider Tarot, what deck number two, what is your next seven days? What is the next seven days for deck number two? I'm going to go with the top card. What is the middle of the week for deck number two? Oh, thank you. Oh my God. That's the second, same position, Hierophant in the reverse. What are the chances, guys? You know what? I might be reading for two opposite. I might have two people, you know, male and female, each watching the same reading. Um, either that or this is a collective kind of thing. I'm just kind of pulling I'm kind of getting the energies from the think tank that is all of my wonderful subscribers and watchers. Oh, uh, wow, guys. Okay. I'm just going to take this as a clarifier because these two were upright, even though I was shuffling with the cards down, down facing. So, and end of the week, please. Thank you. Any other clarifiers for the five of swords? Thank you. moon on the bottom of the deck i don't think we have any full moons coming up i have to double check this hold on it's been a few weeks i don't think it's a new moon we might be coming up on a full moon y'all um hold on let me just see here i'll 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 check it and i'll put it on the video um but yeah but let me just go ahead and get get a vibe here Yeah, oh, I'm definitely getting a story. Oh, I'm getting a story. All right, uh, so deck number two. Um, it is definitely a different energy than the first deck, but um, what's happening is towards the beginning of the week, um, you're definitely going to be you're going to be kind of healing. You got the four swords and you see how it's a lion. It's a very regal character there. And you see how he's just kind of in a state of repose. It's almost like he's resting. Um, there's a really great card in the um, magical um, map. Uh, what is it? The other Oracle deck that has a frozen lion. And I always think of that when I look at this. But just underneath it and clarifying it, you got the emperor. And the emperor is definitely the emperor is the CEO. He's the he's the king of kings. He is the um, he's the ruler of kings. And what it is is this is a man who likes control. Uh, this is a man who has it all together, or at least appears as if he has it all together. So towards the beginning of the week, um, maybe you've been going through some kind of events. I definitely feel like you're going through some stuff. Um, you've been going through some stuff and you're really just trying to heal. Um, the Four of Swords is, um, rules thoughts and words, but there's mostly the swords is a pretty conflicted kind of suit. Most of the, the, the sword suit usually rules conflict or heartbreak, but the Four of Swords is nice. It's one of the nicer cards, but what it means is it means, um, it means taking a break. 
it means the the problem isn't going away and definitely the problem has not gone away your your troubles are still there but what you're doing is you're taking a very controlled approach you're saying okay i'm not going to let these problems get to me it's 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 very purposefully it's very and it, it's and the other thing that's telling me is this is taking a lot of effort too. You were checking out. You're like, okay, my problems will be there when I get back. I need to, you, it's stepping away for your own mental sanity. It's like saying, okay, this is some, this is some crap. <laughs> it's going to be crap any way I look at it. I need a break. I need a mental break. And what you do is you step away and you rest. And it's, it's a very important rest. And it's actually the, the advice is for you to rest. But just know that it takes a lot of control. It takes a lot of discipline for you to do that. Because apparently, and definitely as we go along, what you're going through is some major stuff. It's not light energy, right? So towards the beginning of the week, you're going to be in your emperor energy. You're going to be in control. And you're going to be really exuding your discipline and what you're going to do is you're going to step away towards the beginning of the week you're going to step away from a situation that's stressing you out and you're just going to kind of check out you're going to clock out you know get off the grid and kind of rest a little bit and you really need to do that too this is also telling me is the emperor is a little bit of an uptight kind of energy too so it's it's telling me that you you kind of need a break from everything try to relax and i know that's hard because it, it's almost like you have to exude energy in order to get away from your problems but towards the beginning of the week you're going to be doing that and it's that's a good good place to be but you you almost need to breathe you need a breather um Towards the middle of the week, um, wow, you got three cards in reverse. You got the Hierophant in reverse. And if you watch the last reading, Hierophant in reverse, the Hierophant upright is the status quo. It's keeping up with the what is expected of you. It's kind of like the rules, right? And it can be any type of rules. It can be rules at work. It can be rules within a family. It can be rules within, you know, if you play sports, it can be kind of being on a team. It's definitely kind of a social energy. It's the expectations of how you behave yourself in a polite society. And when you have the Hierophant in reverse, what it's telling you is you want to buck that you want to totally go against that like right now the the rules of society or whatever rules are being imposed on you you are not happy with and you do not want to follow them anymore you really want to throw off any expectations of how you were supposed to behave and you want to go your own way it's a little bit of the rebel card now the reason for this and the root of this and what it tells me is you got the ten of pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles upright is normally that happy family card. It's the grandfather with the, the dogs. And normally you see, you know, children playing at his feet. And then you got the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles is the kind of holding on card. It's the, I'm not letting go. I, I'm being tenacious. I'm, I'm holding on, right? And what it is, is that I kind of read this one of two ways. Um, the, when a card is in reverse, it can be the, the a, a really negative extreme of something, or it can be something blocked. So I think, especially with the Hierophant, I think there were some kind of rules imposed upon you that you were just sick of following. It's almost like, you know, it's it's getting away from this, not just the status quo, but it's 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 getting away from old paradigms they're like old to you like okay we've always done it this way and i'm tired of it i'm i'm it doesn't work for me uh, let's try something different i need to try something different for me is kind of the energy now the thing that i'm getting from this is that you're you're kind of breaking old paradigms and i really get the vibe like it might be family related maybe there's some kind of expectation of of how what role you play in a family and the fact that you have an emperor in play here too it might be you as the man of the house or you as the father the provider but basically it's causing you a lot of stress it's almost like you feel you feel like giving up because you feel like this is almost uh, you're either viewing it as an unattainable ideal as um as an illusionary ideal or it's just driving you crazy right now like you're just like okay i'm tired i'm tired of this role right and 
the Four of Pentacles, normally upright, the Four of Pentacles is holding on to your money. It's not, it's being a little stingy with your money. And when you see it in the reverse, it can be one of two things. It either means that you're being super stingy with your money to like almost a, an extreme degree, either that or you're just letting go. You're like, okay, I'm no longer gonna, you know, pinch every penny, I'm just letting go. Now in this spread, I'm getting kind of a vibe of almost the more extreme. I really think that you're holding, you're holding, holding on to your money. Um, either that or you feel extreme pressure because of some kind of societal, and I do think that it's a family dynamic, either that or if you're a father or a provider, you can be a woman watching this, if you're a provider, if you're the breadwinner, you're getting kind of tired. You're tired of the roles that you've been playing, and in the middle of the week, you're really gonna wanna kinda throw off those expectations. You're kinda want, gonna wanna go your own way. You know, have you ever, you remember that old 80s song, so I'm gonna go my own way. Oh, way. Sorry. All right. <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from, but that's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you you don't want to you don't want the the obligation of this stereotypical life anymore. And you're tired of pinching your pennies. You're tired of that expectation and the fact that it's going straight up to the Hierophant in reverse. It's almost like you want to break these kind of uh, you want to break these roles. You you want to throw off those roles. Now, towards the end of the week, and I know this is just a weekly energy, right? Towards the end of the week, you got the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is a scary card, but I, what I love about reading different decks, and I use it as justification for having way too many tarot decks, but um, what I love is that the art plays into it. You picked this deck for a reason, right? And the artwork of this deck. So normally the Five of Swords, it's the win-lose card. It's someone won, someone lost. So in this, in this argument, in this fight, someone's gonna be the winner, someone's gonna be the loser. And the loser might be you. The loser might be the other person. But either way, it's crappy ass energy, part of my French, because someone long, you know, someone got the one up. It's like, okay, how fair is that? You know, someone has got an advantage and it, it feels like victory to one person and defeat to the other. And that's really, it's not good karma. It's not nice to treat someone that way. And you know, and it, it doesn't make anybody feel good, right? You're not looking, you wanna look for the win-win in life. I know it doesn't always happen, but you try, you strive for it. At least you try for it, right? So here towards, by the end of the week, we do have the five of swords. So, you know, don't be afraid, dun dun dun. There is gonna be someone who's the winner and someone who's the loser. And what you see is you see someone in the background kind of walking away. But the other thing is what I like about this card and what makes this a little bit of a softer five of swords is the fact, look at how much armor this guy has on. And look, he has all the swords, right? And there is somebody walking away in the background and this guy in the armor won, right? He kept his he kept his emotions all covered. He he sheltered himself. You can't you can't tag him. He's got all that armor on. But look at him. He's got his hands in his head. It's almost like he knows that it was an empty victory, right? So this could be it could be you in the armor. It could be you and the person that that got you know vanquished, so to speak. But. The, the the thing that I think is kind about this card is that the person who won at least knows that it was an empty victory. They know that they they got the one up and that it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a fair fight, right? But the other thing about this person, and if this person is you, just bear in mind, look at how much armor you have on. Um, the benefit of armor is that it keeps you safe. The disadvantage of armor is that it keeps the good out as well, right? If you keep up, if you, you know, if you put a high wall around yourself, you don't let anybody in. And, you know, sure, you'll win, you'll have all those swords, right? But what comfort is going to be all those swords, right? It's almost like he knows it's, it's not worth it, right? But this could be just the nature of the fight, too. I mean, definitely with this many cards in reverse, you might know that it's going to end up hurting somebody. And it's going to be an, and again, he, you can see this guy knows that is that he won in an empty way. It might just be the the nature of the beast. It might be the nature of your situation that that's going to happen anyway, any way you work it. 
but I did throw a clarifier because again just like any heavy card I like to know what the and you got the three of wands and what it is is you got two stags so this could pertain if, if you're if you are a man watching this reading it could pertain to you and another male person it can be a best friend it can be a brother or a comrade but you're looking towards the future it's almost like you know it's almost like you you want to keep on trucking you don't want to stay in this energy okay yes this situation caused winners and losers and that was unfortunate and you it's almost like you really didn't want to have to do it but it happened and again you could be the loser it's you got to kind of see you got to ask yourself the question okay which side of, which which side of this card am i but um the fact that this person's walking away and then the three of cups uh, i'm sorry three of wands is standing on a ledge and looking out it's it's almost like looking it is it's looking towards the future you've you've done what you you the 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 at you did you've done the deed right the deed is done <laughs> the the five of swords the swords were collected right so it's almost like the next step is to look forward and it does look like you almost have a friend or at least you have someone in quite quite literally of your own ilk that's there that's kind of looking out for you because you see the one the one deer is looking out ahead at the future and the other person's almost on lookout like kind of shielding them so i think what's happening is that yeah you might towards the end of the week you might be feeling kind of crappy because of how things went down it's definitely with words and with thoughts um but the one thing about the five of swords is the fact that you have two people that actually got into an altercation i think there's going to be an exchange of words there's going to be some kind of showdown and i don't want you to, to be scared by that sometimes it's a very minor thing you know sometimes it can just be the the conversation that you really really needed to have with your family member or you know you, you might have to tell someone you know that you don't um if if uh there's there's a few movies that depict it really well but i remember one one movie you know the 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 guy the protagonist he wanted to he wanted to make furniture and he didn't want to be a part of his dad's business anymore so he came over with donuts one morning you know it's almost kind of like that it's like you got to come over with donuts and really sit down and be like look i don't want to run the family business i want to run my own business and you know and you do you, you end up feeling like this you know but you know you did it over donuts and then you know when you when you get in the car there's just kind of this sigh of relief like okay you know now I can look forward to the future the future that I want so that's going to be your energy towards the end of the week now these are the two cards that flipped out and I think this is I'm reading this as so if this is you know beginning middle end I'm kind of getting this as like the 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 kind of root energy um, but you got the nine of pentacles and you got the page of swords so the nine of pentacles is that independent card it's that sexy single person kind of card and then the page of wands is that person it can mean text messages um, and it can mean you know internet watching but here I'm kind of reading it as it's almost like I'm getting kind of a vibe of of almost like you'll almost be a little bit bumbling with your words not in a bad way but the pages are learners they're the, the they're they're not you know they're not knights or kings or queens so i think in your own way you're just going to be kind of you're going to be communicating in kind of a almost a childlike way in a real kind of innocent or almost blunt way that you want to be independent right you're going to be staking your independent now it can also be that you're just the other thing about the nine of pentacles is that towards the end of the week you might just be a free agent that's the other thing is that maybe towards the middle of the week you have to have a conversation i'm not seeing a whole lot of cups so i don't think this is relationship based i i definitely feel like it's more money and family based and it's the pentacles is stability too it's it's financial st stability and then by the end of the week it's more mental words and action so but i see that three of wands as being almost like a relief it's like okay so i do think that you know again 
I, I do think that you're going to be staking your independence or stating your independence either through text messages or through what what feels like very novice communication. You're going to be almost kind of childlike in the way that you're explaining to someone, hey, I just want to not, you know, I just want to do my own thing right now. But that's your week, guys. And definitely, there's not any really bad energy here. We haven't thrown any really heavy cards. So, and I'm going to go ahead and put your three of wands on top because I think, you know, it's funny. I get to the end of the read and I always feel like there's one card that really just kind of epitomizes the whole, the whole read. But let's go, on, go ahead and move on to deck number three. We've got the, Every, the Everyday Tarot by Biddy Esselmont. It's a really pretty deck. I, I need to use it more often. Oh, I didn't even use your... Oh, shoot, guys. How about this? At the end of the read, I'll, put, I'll, pull, one, I'll, I'll pull one card for each deck. We'll do it a little differently. Let's do it a little differently this week. Why not? So, deck number three. Let's clean, clear the head. What is the beginning of deck three's week? I'm going to go with the top card just because... Is there any clarifier for the hanged man in the beginning of the week? Oh, thank you. And then middle of the week. Oh, uh oh. Oh, wow, guys. End of the week, please. Clarify the tower, please. Other energy. Justice. All right, guys. Wow, that's a little bit of a powerhouse, but no worries. This is this is just energy. Energy can shift. Energy energy can change. We can throw these cards, and five minutes later, it can be different. But towards the beginning of the week, uh, wow, gosh, guys. Oh, how many majors do you have? Hold on, I'm just going to count up your majors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got seven majors. So this, it's going to be a little bit of a powerhouse week. It's going to be a, a strong energy week. And just bear in mind, um, I did just How to Tarot a few days ago on The Devil. And then this coming Tuesday, I'm going to be How, how to Tarot-ing on How to Tarot-ing <laughs> on, the, on the Tower. Um, I've, done the, I've done the Lovers. But um, towards the beginning of the week, you got the hanged man. And what that is, is that's, that's being in an uncomfortable position, but being enlightened by the experience. So what it is, is that towards the beginning of the week, and the, and the clarifier for it is you got the queen of wands and you got the nine of cups. So if you are, you could be a man watching this reading and, and you know, be manifesting as the queen of wands, but, uh, or you could be a woman. And um, basically what's happening is that towards the beginning of the week, you're going to be looking at a situation from a new perspective. You're going to be feeling pretty good. Um, if this is you watching, if you're a woman watching this reading, you're going to be kind of in that queen of wands energy. You're going to be very creative. You're going to feel very confident. You're going to feel kind of strong, sexy. And the fact that you know nine of cups is kind of like the the boon card it's like the i won card it's like i'm just you know king of the world it, it feels like the lucky windfall card right so in the beginning of the week you're going to be reflecting on this so what it is is you're reflecting you're looking at a situation and going gosh okay this situation made me stronger this the situation made me confident it made me it was a blessing right the situation's a blessing now as you get to the middle of the week, either that or if you're a man watching this reading or, you know, um, this could be a woman. You could be looking at a situation like maybe maybe you're, you've been in communication or you're kind of starting a, 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 a very vibrant, you know, someone who's very vibrant, like, you know, just outgoing and beautiful and creative and accomplished and you just you feel lucky right it almost feels kind of like that trophy win but it's almost like you're questioning it a little bit you're looking at it and going hmm you know wow you know that that's an awesome relationship this is an awesome person but you are you're still kind of looking at that 
that person from a new perspective. It's almost like you're saying, hmm, you know, is this person, the other thing that it can be is, is, is this person everything that I think they are? That's the other thing too, is sometimes with the hangman, you know, sometimes, like we said, when you get into a relationship, it's always so much positive endorphins that you think this person can do no wrong and that's kind of how you feel you know and so you're either going to be looking at the queen of wands that way or you're going to feel like the queen of wands and you're almost looking at the situation as giving you that confidence now towards the middle of the week you do have some two two kind of heavy cards so but don't be afraid we this is just the middle this is just kind of a gradient of energy it, it's it actually moves pretty quickly and it isn't all gloom and doom so don't don't be afraid and we did just had a tarot on the devil a few days ago so if you want to watch that that's a very good reference but you did get the devil card and you got the moon card and what that is, is that the devil card, and again, you know, it's, it's a very scary card because you always think, oh gosh, you know, I'm trapped, I'm enslaved, you know, um, something bad's going to happen. But it's really not like that. The, the devil card is really more of our own vices. It really is a lot more about our own wants than anything. And what it's telling me is that something about this situation and the fact that you're in the hanged man position in the beginning of the week, towards the middle of the week, you are going to be feeling very emotionally drawn to something that might not be healthy for you the biggest the biggest definition of the devil card is conceding your morals for something that's going to give you instant gratification but that is not good for you in the long run that's i know it's kind of a long definition but think about it it's like the devil is like saying okay yeah i you know i'm on a diet and i'm not supposed to be eating bread but ooh, croissant you know it's kind of the same thing maybe you know that maybe it's a relationship maybe you know someone who hasn't really treated you right in the in the past and they come around and they're acting all sweet and you're just kind of like oh gosh i'm so tempted right you know maybe if you like to shop and you know that you you know you've been trying to cut up that credit card you know it's it's after christmas you're paying things down but then you're like like, oh, you know, it's so boring, it's a Saturday, it's so rainy out, let me go to the mall. You know, it's kind of like that. It's that, you know, let me let me cave and you're gonna be you're gonna feel very kind of murky about it. You're gonna be very emotionally kind of churning about this situation. Now the fact that it I'm seeing people and later on we get the lovers. I do think that this is a romantic situation. This is a romantic situation. So the beginning of the week, you're gonna be looking at a romantic situation. You're gonna be looking at the queen of wands and feeling like she's the real deal Holyfield. Either that or you're feeling like you're the queen of wands, like you're really confident and got it together and lucky, but you're almost analyzing that. You're kind of getting enlightenment about that. Uh, the other thing that I just want to touch on is that sometimes when you go through kind of challenging relationships, the, the, the fact that it put you through crap, and I'm not saying that it's justified, definitely don't stay in a situation that's not treating you right. But sometimes by, you know, by going through it, you learn a lot about yourself and it makes you stronger. And I know it's so cliche. I roll my eyes too. It's like, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but you're like, gee, thanks. But when you look at it in a new perspective, okay, you know, would I, would I value myself so much if someone didn't cre treat me like crap, right? You know, if I didn't come out the other side and say, I don't deserve this, I deserve better. Um, but towards the end of the week, there is the, the thing about the devil is it's very tempting and you do have the moon card there and the moon is illusion. It's, it's feeling murky. It's feeling emotionally kind of disconnected you're not really grounded you would be more uh, I'm getting a real strong vibe of you'd be willing to cave and go back to something that's not that's just gonna bring you down and you did it in a moment of weakness because you felt emotionally you know kind of pushed you know you felt emotionally um, you know you went you went with the the impulse of it you went with the impulse of it rather than really thinking okay what can i do now 
towards the end of the week, and I know this is a lot of strong energy just for one week, but don't be afraid. These are these are actually pretty positive cards. You're gonna have you're gonna feel really kind of the middle of the week you're gonna feel you're gonna feel torn. You're gonna feel like you wanna do the right thing, but it's gonna be very tempting. Now, towards the end of the week, you got the tower. And the tower is is the breakdown and again if you want to join me for how to tarot I'm doing the tower this upcoming Tuesday the tower is a breakdown of a structure that was not fundamentally sound in the first place so what it could mean is that you know you might be feeling strong sexy confident and then towards the middle of the week something is gonna pull on your insecurity something is gonna make you feel less than something is gonna make you get throw throw you back into the the you know the fog of emotional dependence on something and it's going to be very tempting you're going to feel like I don't you know and and this is an old situation this is something you'll know what the situation is but moving forward and towards the end of the week you're going to get over the hump you're going to get over the hump of insecurity and this will probably be like the valley you know how they talk about walking through the valley that's going to be walking through the valley but once you get to friday i don't want you to fear the tower because the tower is honestly a very good card it's a good card it means that it's 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 the blessing in disguise whatever whatever doesn't serve you has no place in your life and it's going to crumble anyway if you hold on to it it's going to crumble in your hands if you you know take care of yourself and do what's right with your own personal growth whatever the bad or whatever wasn't serving you is going to crumble away from you and so it's really your choice and i know i again i, I do the same eye roll i hate it when people are like when people make it sound so damn easy because it's not they're like oh well just be strong and walk away you know you're like <laughs> okay <laughs> when you're feeling this, <laughs> when you're feeling that, you know, it's not that easy. And believe me, I, I, I hate it when, I, I'll be honest, it's my pet peeve when people, you know, whether they're card readers, whether they're anyone, advice givers, anytime someone gets real preachy and they're not in your shoes, they don't know how hard it is, how emotionally challenging it is. So the other thing is I want you to be real kind to yourself be patient with yourself if if you're going through something i also get a lot of triggers from this if something's triggering you be kind to yourself i always say if something's triggering you get distance get space you know get away and then immediate self-care 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 don't make it make it the you show <laughs> and I almost think about it like a bubble if you have a bubble that includes other people and somebody else starts triggering you pull in that bubble make that bubble smaller where it's just you in the bubble and then no one else exists it is what you want it's what you need to feel better screw everyone else and I don't mean that in a mean way but you know you do you you take care of you and then that that will put whatever is affecting you outside of your bubble and it will let it crumble if it's meant to crumble let it crumble and it, it might be kind of hard but I got clarifiers so underneath the tower you got some beautiful energy guys you got some beautiful energy and just for the record the star follows the tower in the tarot so you got you got the lovers you got the star and you got the seven of wands so uh, what what this is telling me is there's going to be some kind of foundation that's going towards the end of the week you're going to feel like some kind of unstable relationship or some kind of unstable um, emotional construct and this could be negative self-talk too it could be the way that you it could be some kind of insecurity or some kind of fear that you've been harboring it's going to fall away and in its in its place is going to be the lovers the star and the seven of wands and i love the seven of wands because she's fighting right she's holding down the fort and this is a really apt card because anytime you're dealing with emotions like this 
I do think that you do need to, you kind of have to keep your guard. You don't have to fight the emotions. Don't push down the emotions. Let them come up because you kind of have to exercise them. But you are going to, you're going to fight the good fight, almost like being inside your bubble. It's like you, you stay on top of your hill and let anything that's triggering you be below. You keep the high ground, right? And I do see, first off, I see love or I see a situation because when you look at the devil and you look at the lovers, it's the same two people, right? So, um, this might be telling you to kind of let go of some control too. If there was some kind of situation that was making you feel insecure, maybe just kind of let it unfold, let it unfold. The other thing that I see when it comes to the tower, and we'll be going over this on Tuesday too, is that it takes a lot of trust. It takes trust in the universe, right? You kind of almost have to have the faith that things are going to work out in your best interest. You don't have to worry about that or try to control the outcome. It's just kind of give it, if, if, if you believe in God, give it to God. If you believe in the universe, give it to the universe. Just kind of like, just, and if you're feeling despair, which is a devil concept, if you're feeling despair, send out a prayer send out a prayer or send out a meditation whatever you believe in send out that thought that says i need some help i need some strength tell me what to do or at least you know protect me while i'm healing or while i'm protecting myself you know put a, put that bubble around me but i'm definitely getting the vibe that this this whatever is falling away is for the right reason and you have a lot of sunlight coming after this. Um, it's going to, it is going to challenge you, but you've got the lovers and you got the stars. So I think when, you know, this, when this old foundation falls away, there's going to be the basis for something really new and beautiful. And there's a lot of hope there, guys, a lot of hope. And you're going to kind of see it by the end of the week. I'm almost getting a feeling like maybe towards the end of the week, you might see something that has you believing that, you know, the, it's almost like in the beginning of the week, you felt on top of the world. And then by the middle of the week, maybe you see something or something happens that makes you think, oh God, that was all a lie, you know? And it involves, an, it does involve another person. I'm definitely getting a relationship vibe, but try not to, try not to fly off the handle. If you see anything that upsets you, just kind of exercise that, maybe do some inner work, be like, okay, what's, why is this situation triggering me? And then by the end of the week, you are going to get your answers. By the end of the week, whatever was, whatever was a lie or whatever was not true is going to fall away and you are going to see the truth. And the truth definitely involves some kind of, some kind of true connection a true partnership the other thing is you see that angel there and we talked about giving it over to the universe and maybe you need to do i, I think that is a is an echo of that you see the halo um but things are going to be okay just just you know fight the good fight is what i'm hearing fight the good fight but the overall energy and again this kind of sums up if, if i had to sum up the whole week you got the five of cups and you got justice and gosh guys and i how to tarot on justice if you want to watch that it's under the uh under the how to tarot header but the Five of Cups is mourning over something, right? It's mourning over something, but still having something to turn around and look for. And then you got justice. So I do think that if there was any kind of sad, emotional situation, justice will be served. And what I love about justice, and maybe it's a Libra thing with me, is that I always try to keep my behavior on the level, but I know that if, if I did respond in a less than correct way i'm willing to stand up and be responsible for that and that's the beautiful thing about justice is that the justice isn't going to let you off the hook it isn't all about making one person the villain and another person the the winner right justice is going to call you out if you if you behaved in an incorrect way too but the the nice thing about justice is that if you walked the line if you said look i made the best 
decisions. I took the best action that I could in that circumstance. Justice isn't going to judge you, judge you harshly. It's going to do what's right. You see, it has the scales in its hand. So this this loss, this sorrow, this this broken relationship or whatever this is, you know, that's making you feel the moon and making you feel the devil, there is going to be justice. And, and the justice of that definitely reflects in the, you know, a positive relationship, uh, hope and, you know, regeneration. And then, you know, you, them, you know, I honestly think that this might be someone who's fighting for your relationship too. I'm kind of getting that vibe. But just know that it is going to be a little bit of a week. I'd say that towards the middle of the week, and this isn't to scare anyone. This is just energy. You control your life, right? And if it doesn't resonate, don't take the message. It doesn't pertain to you if it doesn't resonate. But just if you feel like something's triggering you, um, again, you know, you put yourself in your own bubble, you know, kick everybody out, out of, keep, kick out everybody else from your bubble, <laughs> make it the you show and take care of yourself, whatever you need to do to take care of yourself while you're being triggered. And there's a lot of really great, uh, psychological mantras too. I'll, I'll, I'm going to try to read up more about those, but there's there's ways that you can calm yourself if you're having an emotional reaction to something that you saw, or maybe something that you you know saw online or heard, or you know that that you know made you think the worst. But things are definitely going to perk up by the end of the week. But just know, you know, just just kind of try to let go. That's the other thing is that the devil can mean a lot of obsession. It can be trying to control. It's the I want. So try to try to go with the flow. Try to loosen up, um, and and definitely trust. And if if you have any questions about trusting, you know, just you know, give it give it over to the universe. Let the you know just know that everything's going to turn out for for everyone's best interest. All right, guys. So let's do this a little bit different. I totally slacked and forgot your uh, clarification card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go per each deck and I'm just going to throw a card and we're going to talk about it. So deck number one. Ooh, deck number two. And deck number three. All right. Wow, guys. Okay, so if I remember correctly, I'm, I'm see, I, I just pulled cards on deck number one and I'm already forgetting. Sorry, guys. Oh, yes. Yeah. I remember how in uh, deck number two, you had the Fool and the um, Hierophant in reverse. So um, definitely the Fool in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. And remember how I told you about, you know, bucking the status quo or kind of going against the grain. Sometimes um, when you're being the rebel, you can act a little bit erratically. So here, and don't be afraid, this is, this is kind of a Lenormand base. It's the scythe, which is a sudden blow or shock. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to mean sorrow. It just means, it kind of means a knee-jerk reaction. It kind of means that something happens abruptly, and I think that might be your actions. And sometimes when you're feeling restless or you, you feel like, you know, again, bucking the status quo, you might act a little bit erratically. So I think it's just bearing, it's telling you to bear in mind, you know, try to be mindful of that before you do anything abrupt or before you say anything blunt or do anything that might just kind of throw caution to the wind just kind of think about it because you might be acting a little bit suddenly now the second the second deck you got the whip which is um, it just means repetition it means kind of a sting that occurs over and over again and you remember how in the middle of the week you had you had the hierophon in reverse as well which is acting erratically it's almost like deck one but you also had the Ten of Pentacles in, the, in reverse and you had the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe you feel like you're in a vicious cycle and the fact that it says irritation at home, it could be that you're kind of in, you're fighting a little bit with family, but what it's here is it's telling you, um, at the beginning of the week, it talked about the Four of Swords, you know, and taking a break. Definitely don't put up with any repetitious cycles. And it did look like you were trying to like kind of break the, the paradigm. You were trying to break the, the cycle so this really plays into that where I think that it is reiterating you know if you 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 don't have to take any any 
and I won't, I won't say bad treatment because family is family, right? You know, these are the dynamics we, you grow up with, right? They, they've been the same forever. So if, but just bear in mind that, you know, if you're going to change the system or you're gonna, you know, claim your independence after decades of ingrained behavior, you don't have to take any bad behavior or any treatment from anyone that you do not want. But as you're changing and as you're putting up new, as you're building the new paradigm, just kind of also be mindful of your, you know, of the conflict that it can stir up. I'm not saying don't do it, definitely do it. <laughs> if it's what you want, you know, put up those boundaries, but it's always gonna be a little bit, you know, of a shock when you've been in the same pattern forever and then all of a sudden you change it. And then the last week, and again, you know, you had some heavy energies that you got the child, beginnings, kindness, and good company. And guys, remember towards the end of the week, you, you got the lovers and you got, you got the star. And um, I do think that, I think that this is saying that it's gonna be some kind of new beginning. I think whatever kind of bad energy that you had before, you're gonna take a new stance on and things are gonna get better very, very soon, and I do think that you're gonna see that definitely by the end of the week. All right, well, that was our reading. That was really intense. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. But um, please stay tuned tomorrow. I am still doing the 31 Days of Tarot for the, the rest of January. Um, and so if you tune in tomorrow, there's gonna be a post for that. Um, on Monday is, uh, Monday is D20, which is the 20th day of the month, and I'm doing my, my uh, monthly Dungeons and Dragons reading. And then Tuesday is gonna be the How to Tarot, and we're doing that on um, the Tower. So I hope you can join me, and I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>